Hey guys, it's Jordan here. Welcome back to Rush Kit. So today we're taking a look at the AMD R7 260. This is their first card in their new graphics card range. For more details about all of the graphics cards in the new range of AMD, please check out the link in the description below. It takes you to the Overclock 3D website. We've got you all covered about all the latest information about the cards. Um, but we're going to give you an overview and look around the 260 today. Uh, this is a open card design unlike the other ones in the range and it's an extremely small card um, so this is going to be perfect if you really cramp for room I will give you a few dimensions as well we go along um, but we've got 896 stream processors in this card up to 1.1 gigahertz of engine clock power memory configuration of 2 gigabytes of GDR5 PCI Express of 3.0 uh, DirectX 11.2 support OpenGL 4.3 uh, and Mantle as well uh, one thing we don't know as of yet either is if the card is based off a 7870 Tahiti Alley version or just a regular edition. Um, if it's a normal one we're not really sure where it's going to come in uh, in the range. So we'll give you a look at the measurements of this card. Um, the fan on this is actually 75mm unlike some of the other ones that are out um, that use an 80mm as a 75mm. The length of the card is 170mm which is perfect if you're using a mini ITX motherboard it's going to fit exactly flush with the width of the motherboard so if you're really tight for space it's going to fit absolutely perfect into the case. Uh, the height is 95mm and if you include the bracket it's just 185mm. So let's take you around the card, give you a few more bits of information. So open card design, uh, I've mentioned, uh, unlike the other ones in the range. You've got your fan there with the AMD Radeon graphics sticker. On the very top we've got a Radeon imprint, um, all black and then a splash of red there. Cross wire connection on the top. The PCB is a reference PCB for the 260. Um, all black um, with the, the cooler bracket there as well. You've got your PCIe 3.0 on the bottom there. Underneath there's not a lot apart from the serial number and you can see a bit of the uh, the fan, the heatsink in there as well. Uh, on the end we've got the power connection for the fan and also one six pin power connection. This is what this card requires. Very low power draw. Uh, 115 watts, so it's very small consumption. On the other side we've got dual DVI, a full size HDMI and a full size display port. Uh, but as we mentioned it's a very small card, uh, it's the smallest in the range at the moment and you know if you're very you're going to build yourself a home theater PC or um, just a basic really very small rig you're going to hide somewhere uh, this is going to fit perfectly into that. Um, but that was a quick overview around the card I'll just give you a quick look round um, again just so you can see but black and red themed as uh, most of the AMD stuff um, but yeah that has been a little quick look at the R7260 uh, any questions let me know and we'll see you all in the next video